Lake City City Council members started their meeting a little early to welcome another new city manager. And he isn't the only new face there. TV 20's Hawa Ezel tells us what the new mayor plans to implement when he takes office. Residents of Lake City received the opportunity to meet and greet with their new city manager, Don Rosenthal. Lake City has a great deal of potential that it hasn't realized yet. Last month, city council members approved Rosenthal's $162,000 contract to begin working as the new city manager. He is the former assistant administrator of Pasco County. One of the things that I've heard that the citizens would like to see is a development of a downtown. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be, uh, in a few months or so, we're going to be coming out with a housing authority that's going to allow us to do an impact on, on uh, some impact on the homeless situation, but a much greater impact on providing more housing. Housing is a dire need in this area. The appointment comes after more than two years of the position in turmoil with a high turnover rate. I don't, I don't control that. And I, I certainly hope that doesn't happen with me, but the possibility always exists, doesn't it? The incoming mayor-elect of Lake City, Noah Walker, also made an appearance at the meeting and spoke to council members during public comment. My platform was safety, growth, and dignity. Our neighborhoods are in disrepair because of lack of code enforcement, and that's not from a staff fault. That's from an overload of code issue fault um, and, and code reporting fault. So uh, maybe um, researching and implementing some whistleblower programs so that uh, neighbors can help maintain their neighborhoods. I asked what prompted him to run for mayor. When you want to see something change uh, and you don't do anything about it, you shouldn't expect change. Uh, but I want to see this community change for the better. Uh, and so I'm doing something about it, and that's why I ran for mayor. Walker will officially take office in November. Reporting in Lake City, Hawa Ezel, TV 20 News.